Hi guys, welcome to Outer Plane. Now, normally I let about seven days sit in uh, before I give you my overall thoughts on the game, but uh, I've been playing this game for a few days already and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So I, I wanna tell you a little bit uh, about the game, uh, whether I'm gonna recommend it to you guys or not. You guys can wait that till the end, but I'm not gonna say that right now. But overall, I'm having a good time. That's basically what I'm gonna say right now. Um, I'm going to be talking about a, a a lot of subjects when it comes to this game. Okay, of course, the game concept, characters, gameplay, the you know the overall br uh, array of content that there is, banners, and then a little bit extra stuff toward the end as well. Now, the first thing I'm going to be mentioning is that is it re is it easy to reroll in this game? And it's uh, extraordinarily it's very easy to do it. Basically, when you come in to play Outer Plains, you enter as a guest. Uh, so you enter as a guest. Of course, you just let you go through the tutorial, Tetra, until you get to the first banner pulls, and then you pull your first banners. Check if you got what you want. If you didn't get what you wanted, then you just reset the banner, and then you, I mean, you just reset your game. So you just go to settings, account, and then you reset server account. You delete it basically. It'll ask you uh, to type in delete. Once you click delete, it'll kick you back into the main screen, enter again as a guest, and then start the process again. That's how you reroll in this game. Very easy. Uh, the first reroll is going to take you a, a bit longer, but subsequent rerolls are going to be pretty simple. So it's, it's kind of nice that they give you the option to reroll, especially in a very simplistic way. Once you kind of get into roll of it and you really like want to get like a good starting account, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm saying that the first reroll is going to take you about 15, 20 minutes, and then subsequent will take you 5 to 10. But it's, it's pretty simple. It's kind of nice. When it comes to the story of Outer Planes, uh, it's very similar. If you guys know the anime uh, Shield Hero, it's basically the same thing. Uh, a main character with Shield gets isekai and then he gets betrayed. <laughs> same thing. It's actually very interesting. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm currently on Chapter 8. I just started Chapter 8 today, actually. I have a lot of stamina. I might actually go into it right now. And there's a total of 10 chapters uh, as of release. So once you're done with the chap uh, 10 chapters, you can enter hard mode again. It says 1014. Won't let me enter hard mode until I'm done with 1014. Then you can start again, and it's kind of nice. It gives you enough content to kind of keep you busy when in in the terms of the story, which is pretty nice actually. Again, the the, the story is fully voiced. It, it's very appreciated. Again, I'm not a fan of subtitled. Again, if you don't like that, you, know, you can fight me. I don't care. <laughs> but I actually I I actually like to hear what they're saying. You know, uh, primarily because one, it, it's kind of nice to get those expressions. Is the is the dub good? It is like any dub, basically. It's not great, but it's not bad either. When it comes to the character designs of Outer Planes, um, have I seen better? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna say this: that the character designs of Outer Planes don't really like, for example, knock it out of the park. You know, in that in that aspect, I do appreciate the fact that there's both genders, male and female characters. Uh, I don't like the I, I don't like gotcha games or games in general where it's only just you know, only female characters. I've, I've I've seen enough of that. That I, I just I just don't I just don't like it. Again, like I, like I mentioned before, uh, the fact that all the characters are fully dubbed. Again, if you don't like the English dub, uh, you can switch it between uh, different languages to just whatever suits your your personal needs and then just go over there. Again, the character sounds are great. Some are very questionable. Some of them are like really you, you. I don't like it when they go that far, but I can excuse it because the latter overtakes the the bunch. You know what I mean. But uh, yeah, the character designs, I actually do like them very much. Again, for example, like for, for me, I, I like Maxwell, all right? Maxwell's cool. He actually is a pretty cool great design. You got Leo, Ren. Again, uh, they're not uh, absolutely out there. She's cool. <laughs> they're not absolutely out there when it comes to the overall designs. See what I mean? Very elegant designs. There are some, I'm going to show you one right now. Like, see what I mean? It, it, it's it's a little out there. It, again, it, it, and like, it, the the ones that overshine are are more are more frequent than the latter. So I do appreciate that. See what I mean? It is out there, but it's it it's okay. <laughs> Character designs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it like an eight out of ten if I were to grade it, like a seven or eight out of ten. It, it, they're great. I mean they're good, but they're not great, but they're not bad either. When it comes to the overall gameplay of Outer Planes, I do like the fact that it's fully. Uh, I'm gonna skip the story. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it here in just a second. I do. It is fully auto, but I only recommend fully auto if you completely understand the mechanics of the game. Uh, I do understand them to a certain point, but it also like okay, if you have a, your characters are strong enough and they can clear it on their own, they can just do it on their own. As you can see, uh, the battle designs is very reminiscent to if you ever played uh, Epic Seven. It's very reminiscent to that playstyle, 
And if you ever played, uh, you guys played King's Rage, it's also very re reminiscent to that overall play style as well. If I played uh, like manually, uh, you pick your character's attacks uh, in between three different types of skills. Again, they all have cooldowns and they, each character has their own special attacks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, yeah, again, you have different classes. You have your tanks, you have your reticles, your mages, your your strikers, and uh, and your priests. So those it doesn't have a lot of like classes, but it's it's nice and like bundled together, along with the elements. Again, there's dark, light, fire, wind, and water. I believe. I believe there's more. I believe that it's just five. There's like the the same amount of classes is the same amount of different elements. Is basically what it is. Again, if if you're kind of like already familiar, you're already leveled up your gear, and you can go auto, just go full auto. Everything's right here, full auto, and then double speed. Again, you can you can pause the game, change settings, uh, go into your special if you're playing it on manual, etc., etc. As you can see, it's very given. I'm pretty sure that once I kind of get into like the more end game aspects of the game, uh, I will have to look more into the gear for me when it comes to any gotcha game, not just this one. Uh, any gacha game, uh, gear is always a ch uh, like like a choke point for me. It's always kind of hard for me to get the gear down in like any gacha game, not just this one. As you can see, the battle system is not bad. It's not it's not like the greatest thing ever. Like uh, I've seen some players say, it's like it's like a budget Epic Seven, which is true. You know, I've I played Epic Seven before, not fully, but see the character designs, yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I've played Epic Seven before. Uh, personally, for me, I do like this system better than Epic Seven because I, I remember in Epic Seven I had to like constant click, right, uh, like the right in order for the characters to move right. This one they automatically do it. So it's like it's kind of nice, you know, in that, in that overall aspect. That's the overall gameplay of Outer Planes. I'm gonna be talking about other subjects here in just a second. The variety of content located uh, within Outer Planes is actually quite expansive. Again, I just showed you the adventure mode, which is the story. Uh, you have the challenge, of course. Uh, your, your daily like stockade aspects of it, gold. The food is basically your XP. Uh, this is where you you farm your XP, especially food. This is like the basically your XP sandwiches, <laughs> and of course the upgrade materials for your characters. This is what you use to upgrade your characters from you know phase one, two, three, and then so on, so on. You got your gear, uh, your armor, weapon accessories, uh, talisman, skin. And this one's actually very unique. I do like this. It's kind of like a roguelike, and where you go enter and then you you pick different like little buffs in order to proceed. Through different areas again there's a there's quite a bit to go through and then the infinite corridor uh, again it should tell you the basics of it it's infinite <laughs> the infinite corridor and then of course you got you're kind of like a tower of challenge uh aspect of it as well i can only get to 20. this th this fucking floor man <laughs> this fucking floor it's uh it's it's a little bit difficult again the the floors go all the way up to 100 if i recall correctly yeah they go all the way up to 100 and for completing it uh you can almost get a character for free so this character's for free uh again you're collecting her shards as you're climbing the tower and then once you collect all the like shards i believe you need like 300 uh, you can get a character for free or maybe it's 250 300 can't remember i think it's 300 uh you can get the character for free so you have that little bit extra content there on the side side stories are basically you want to know a little bit more about each character again you do get rewards especially if you have the the luxury characters like for example i showcased max uh, maxwell uh, if i want to farm his shards i just come here finish his uh basically his side story and then i can start farming his shards i get 10 per day again that that, that applies to every character out there so every character i have i can just finish their sub stories and then just farm their shards for me i like maxwell he's like one of my favorite characters and then after i'm done with that i can start farming for other shards again the the side story challenges you can only get 10 per day so you got to pick wisely like if you have like your main or your favorite character you're only farming those uh, again it's unfortunate but yeah uh there is pvp uh it's not engage if pvp so you're not fighting actual players you're only fighting like their their ais it's it, it's all right <laughs> i've never been a fan of pvp uh, even when i played other games uh especially like again like i mentioned before i played king's raid uh, I was never a fan of PvP. It was, it's just not my thing. Uh, this is it's decent. It's all right. But if you guys are into PvP, I guess it's like a like a defense. You set up your defense, and then you attack their defense, and then that's it. It's all right. <laughs> Again, uh, I did I did talk about the, that aspect of the of the content. Again, it's it's expan it, it's not as expansive, but it's all right. Uh, the other aspect I'm going to be talking about content as well is the the guild. Again, I just joined a random guild. I'm pretty sure that in the future, once I start kind of getting into it, I'll either form my own guild or I'll join a guild that's kind of like 
very active and has a discord etc you always want to do that you always want to join a, a guild that, that has a discord so you can you know move into it of course you got your guild shop uh, these are none of my none of my business and here's like your daily boss rush you go in here and just like you you blast the boss to get currency in order to you know to spend on the shop basically what it is i'm, I'm not too familiar with it i just unlocked the guild i just joined a random one i just unlocked the guild literally today so I just joined a random one and just, just joined in and started blasting a boss like randomly without asking. <laughs> but yeah, cool, cool. When it comes to the overall gacha of the game, it is it is it is a character gacha. Again, uh, you gotta pull for you gotta pull for characters and you gotta pull for dupes. If you do not want to pull for dupes, you can do what I just for, mentioned. You know, prior is you gotta just you just farm the uh, the extra the extra missions or like the extra stories of the characters. Kind of like I was doing for Maxwell, just farming his shards. You can do it through there if you're not wanting to pull for characters, or maybe the character you want is not a banner, so you can get again when you pull a character from the banner, it'll give you 150 shards, which is very nice. Easier to like upgrade your characters, and then of course if you just do it normally, it's just 10, 10, 10 per day. So you gotta keep that in mind. It does have a pity of 200. Once you hit 200, again the the pity builds on any banner. So let's say you're pulling on Ren and you picked up Ren. But now you want to pull on Valentine. The pity carries over between all three banners. So once you hit the pity, uh, the mileage recruit will only account for the characters within the basically the 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 main ones. It won't re it, it will not apply to the normal recruit, only to these two. And then it'll give you the option to pick up whichever character that you want. If you already have the characters, uh, it, it'll give you shards. It, it's all right. <laughs> they did say that the the mileage is not carry over uh in between banners so maybe just hit the, the the main pity or the mileage recruit and then go from there again that's only what i've been told i'm not sure if that's like a first and like i'm gonna wait for for the end of it which it should be next month on the 7th if it doesn't carry over then it doesn't carry over but so far from what i've been told uh, as soon as the event's over for these two characters, this turns into like a different type of currency. From again, I've only been told that. Uh, aside from that, again, it's fifteen hundred of these uh, the the main currency, fifteen hundred for a ten pull, and then of course you'll you'll get extra tickets for the for the raid ups, and of course you get a different type of uh, currency for the normal recruits. Again, it's like these gray ones up here. Uh, overall, again, um, as for the rates, they're not, they're not bad. <laughs> I'm going to show you right now. Just to show you how not bad the, the rates are. So basically, I got him through like the, like when, when you first start the game and you're doing your first recruits, there's, like, there's actually going to be four banners. There's going to be the beginner banner, which allows you to basically, it allows you to reroll infinitely until you get the roles that you want. If you get the character that you want, so okay, cool, I got it. And then you start pulling from the raid up banners. Again, it depends on what character you like most. Uh, I think Valentine's out trumps Rim, but it's up to you guys. It's up to you who you want to pick up uh, when it comes to these two. Again, when you're doing the rerolls and then just go from there, you know? Uh, again, the, the first banner, the, the infinite banner, it's infinite. So just just uh, keep re-rolling until you get the character you want, and then you go from there. Again, that's how I, when it comes to the characters, I saw a video that recommended Maxwell, and I actually do like Maxwell a lot. So that's the character I got from, like, the, the beginner banner, the infinite banner. That's pretty cool. Again, he is a kind of like a, a three-star character, quote-unquote, like the luxury ones. So I got basically, just from pulling normally, I got one, two, three, four. She's free. Four, five, six, seven seven three-star characters which is almost all of them so yeah i almost have them all i'm only missing six she i i, I wanted her and i couldn't get her man sucks but uh, yeah i almost have all of them see so the, the rates in this game are not bad they're actually not bad at all do you do you have to pull for like the luxury characters that, that i have no not really again you get you get rona for free and then as you start picking up like if, if you start you start pulling and you start getting characters the the one two star characters in the future will become three star characters and then you actually get shards for like the main cast quote unquote like for example k uh who's the other main cast oh it's the eva uh, Le uh lisha yeah lisha and where's the elf <laughs> there's the elf uh you actually get shards for them just for playing the story so oh here she is snow so you actually get shards just just for playing the, the story you actually 
can get them up to like three or four stars just by playing the story. So if you just want to just use the main cast, you can just go with the main cast. You're not forced to pull for characters. At least from what I've seen, you can go with the main cast and you should be just groovy. Overall, that's uh, that's what that's overall when it comes to the banners, the characters themselves. Again, don't feel pressured if you don't get the three star characters. I do feel like the rates are pretty fair. They feel more fair than other games that I've been playing recently. It's basically what I'm going to be sitting down with. Lastly, but surely, again, uh, now that I talked about the banners, it should kind of give you like the overall thought about it. Is like, is this a very pay to win game? Not really. You don't have to pay to win. Uh, you can leisurely play this game without having to pay a dime. Should you pay? Uh, it's up to you. Again, it's your money. You can do what you want. Uh, you work for to get that money. You just just make sure you you got everything covered. You can you can you can do whatever you want with your money. Just do it responsibly. That's the that's the main thing I say when it comes to gotcha games. I'm like if you guys want spending tips, if you guys want to spend money, you want spending tips, I can give you some spending tips. But personally, for me, I can't personally like say, oh yeah, you gotta you gotta spend. You don't have to. And I like games that don't that don't make you feel like you have to pay. Those are the gotcha games I like the most, or the games that I like I like the most in general. Because like even now, games that you you play normally. You have to pay like a battle pass, etc. Like you, you play, you buy a game from PlayStation or Xbox or Switch or whatever, and you still have to pay for DLC or little extra things. So again, it just depends on how you guys feel about spending money. If you guys don't feel, if you guys don't feel like spending money. You want a game that makes you feel like you don't have to spend money. Other Plans is not bad. Again, I've heard some bad things about the game. I've heard that it's kind of like a, again, like like a like a four mention as like a, it's like a budget Epic Seven. Oh, the the graphics are really bad and blah 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 and etc etc et etc. I don't, I I really don't care about that shit. It, are you providing a good experience that I'm having fun with? Yeah, and that's all I care about is that if you're providing something that's keeping my mind or is keeping me occupied or is keeping me kind of like giving me that sense of thought that I'm having fun playing your game. It's all like it's all I care about. I don't care about graphics. I don't care about anything else. Is am I having an enjoyable time, spending my time playing this game, is it worth it? It's basically all I care. Uh, that should be it for my overall thoughts on Outer Planes. The last thing I'm going to say before I kind of like cut off right now is that if you want, if you guys want code, if you guys are looking, interested in playing Outer Planes, um, I'll be providing some codes for the game. There's a plenty of codes that came out already that are going to be able to give you a lot of stuff for, for beginner players. It's actually very nice stuff, very nice stuff. So if you guys are looking to join Outer Planes, uh, it's actually a good time to start and if you guys are looking for somewhere to kind of like ask questions or maybe you guys want to play with other people uh, let me know because I did delete the link to my discord but if you guys want that link to the to my discord and uh, you guys want to go to my discord and actually you know converse there uh, just let me know I'll relink it down in the description below along with the codes uh, that should be it I really hope you guys found this really helpful if you do want to ask questions before you start this gacha game, again, ask me in the Discord, and then we can talk there, and then we, we can figure out whether or not this is a game for you. If you guys want to actually watch me play it on Discord, I can do that for you guys. Should be it. I really hope you guys uh, found this helpful. If you did, please like and share. If you like a lot, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.